Let me just uh, briefly update everybody um, on uh, the total number of positives in the state of California, the number of hospitalized, the number uh, that are in ICU. Uh, total number of positives today reported 10,710 in the state of California. Uh, we have 2,188 individuals that are hospitalized uh, and 901 individuals in our ICU. That 901 number represents a 10.4% increase from uh, the previously reported number yesterday. Uh, we continue uh, to do more and more on testing tomorrow. Uh, I'll be putting out some more specific and prescriptive strategies and guidelines and updates on our testing protocols in the state of California. Uh, we continue to procure a more physical space uh, in this state, and including nearby the sleep train arena, uh, and we're actually beginning the construction uh, today on that project. All throughout the state of California, uh, progress is being made, and on Monday, I, I will lay out details of all the physical assets that have now been procured as part of our, loss, our larger hospital surge program, including all of those 2,000 uh, units of medical support uh, that came from those eight FMS sites uh, that were procured uh, through the president's support. Uh, so it relates to the issues uh, that are our top focus in addition to homelessness uh, today. Uh, we continue to also focus uh, with acuity on what's happening in our skilled nursing facilities, what's happening uh, with our senior centers and our adult care uh, daycare facilities throughout the state of California. We said when the beginning of this uh, epidemic that homelessness and our seniors, uh, those were our top priorities. They remain so, uh, and that's where so much of our energy and focus uh, resides, and appropriately so, because of the vulnerabilities within those populations, within those uh, communities. Uh, but more broadly, we're doing what we can to continue to take advantage of this lull as it relates to not yet being at peak and taking advantage of every moment, every minute, every hour, and every day to continue to build our capacity uh, and build uh, our points of access. That capacity includes uh, the amount of PPE uh, that we're receiving from around the world through our own efforts uh, and, again, with whatever support we can get from the federal government. Uh, I promise on a daily basis to update individuals to the, the N95 masks. Uh, we have, as of this morning, distributed now just over 38 million N95 masks in the state of California. As I said, as soon as we get those masks in, we get them out as quickly as possible. We'll need tens of millions more, hundreds of millions of more uh, masks, more broadly defined surgical masks and shields and coveralls and gowns and gloves. And uh, those procurement practices and those supply chains are being activated, as I said, all around the globe. Uh, we continue to find and source more ventilators, found a few hundred more from the L.A. County region that we're retrofitting back up in Sunnyvale, Bloom Energy, uh, and continuing to resource and stack up uh, the ventilator assets as well. Uh, in addition to that, now almost 75,000, over 74,000 people have signed up on our Health Corps uh, website, which is just incredible. That's the human resource uh, a part of all of this. Remember, three-legged stool. You need the physical uh, points of access in our hospital system. You need the appropriate protective gear and supplies, ventilators, uh, not just gowns and masks. And of course, we need the people that are retired uh, to come back and those with expertise as radiologists and EMTs, paramedics, nurses, nurse practitioners, doctors, and the like uh, to get ready to uh, participate in helping us support the surge. And we're triaging all of those individuals as well. And before I open up to questions, I just want to remind people you can help uh, as well as individuals. Uh, Serve.ca.gov. Serve.ca.gov. That's our website uh, for information. If you want to help folks like the folks that are now housed uh, behind me, uh, for individuals, for shelters, food banks, that's the site to go to, serve.ca.gov. It also has a volunteer link to Cal Volunteers, more broadly defined of how you can volunteer, how you can contribute blood, not just time, the food, at the blood bank, all the things that uh, we uh, are, I think, individually required to do more of at this moment. Uh, that's a site we've created, Clearinghouse, to help advance that cause and to help the collective cause of all of us uh, doing more on a daily basis, uh, including the admonition that I'll always end and remind you, uh, continue to practice safe physical 
distancing and social distancing. Continue to practice physical distancing above and beyond any and everything else. Uh, we have done a remarkable job in the state of California. If we continue to do that job, we'll continue to buy us time before that peak uh, so we could continue to do more projects just like this. And if we do that, you are quite literally responsible for saving lives. And there's no greater or more noble pursuit in life than able to look back at the end of your life and say you met that moment and there are people walking around, their kids and grandkids, because you did the right thing just by practicing safe physical distancing, continuing to stay at home, except for non, uh, for essential purposes, uh, you'll have, uh, I think, uh, met that moment in profound and significant ways.